Now in this room we can play find the air vent. It's right under the carpet cleaner. checking out the FLIR 1 Gen 3 Android USB Type-C thermal camera for your smartphone. If you're interested in this product, you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here, walking you through what's included, some additional information, and our Google Play info for the FLIR 1 app that you can download for Android devices. This features a camera pixel dimension of 1440 by 1080 and a camera temperature range of minus 20 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius. So that's minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 248 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature followed by our USB cable featuring USB type A to USB type C. A nice storage and travel case with the FLIR logo and branding on the zipper. Let's open it up to look at the inside so we have room for our thermal camera and our included cable. Lastly, we have the camera itself. On this side, we have the FLIR logo and branding, adjustable USB type C depth. We can move that in or out depending on our device. Check it out from the sides. Here's the back side with our cameras and sensors, FLIR branding again. And then on this side we have our USB Type-C for charging, our charging light, and we have our power button right there. Very small and compact as you can see it fits in my hand very easily. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. We're going to be using the Google Pixel 6 Pro to set up our FLIR 1. We have the app downloaded. Again, it's free from the Google Play Store. You don't even need to create an account. This is the screen you're going to be at. Where we're instructed to plug in the device, it looks like wait around 20 seconds. You can select this icon for more information. Make sure your device is fully charged before you use it. And then basically plug it into the charging port, adjust with the wheel as needed, and then press the power button to turn it on. So there we go. Ours is all locked and loaded and ready to go. And you can see my hand right there on the table. It's being blocked by my other hand as I'm holding it. So remember, the camera's actually down here on the phone. But there we go. You can see a real-time sample of it. That's pretty cool, right? Now let's go ahead, let's look at some photo and video test results. All right, so here's my dog. Check it out. Pretty cool. Got some hot spots on his face. And as you'd expect, under belly right there. Go look at the windows in the air vent you can see. Let's go a little bit closer now. See how much cooler it gets. So now it's giving us a cooler reading as we get closer to it. And we can look at our windows too. Pretty cool. Now we're outside. I thought this was pretty cool. You can see the cooler spots. That's the shade. And then the brick radiating a lot of heat. And you can see the windows. It's really cool. Now in this room we can play find the air vent. It's right under the carpet cleaner. There's the window, and then we have our cooler air coming out of that vent, hitting the wall. Pretty neat stuff.
So pretty impressive photos and videos if you ask me. It's really neat and obviously a helpful and useful tool for certain applications and businesses. Let's look at the app in a little bit more detail right now. At the bottom we have our image icon where we can browse our photos and videos. We also have our photo shutter button or we can swap to video mode and start recording right there front and center. Then we also have our plus icon walking us through a couple of different settings. First up, we can choose our colors right here, depending on your application or your own personal preferences. I like the iron. And then we also have our camera alignment right here. This is important if you're looking around and using your viewfinder and you can see that stuff is off or levitating, hovering, things like that. Kind of seeing a ghost image of both things, you can adjust the alignment there. Then at the top in the right hand corner, we have our calibration option. It'll conduct a calibration for us. And we also have the ability to turn on that spot center temperature right there. Top left hand corner, we have our hamburger menu with additional options. So currently our FLIR one's connected and it's charging. I want you guys to see that you can use this with a USB cable if you want to basically continuous power. We can log into a cloud account if we want. We have additional settings here. We can adjust the unit. So Celsius or Fahrenheit, time format, date format. Couple additional settings here. Basically you can adjust the measurement of uh, how effectively or efficiently an object radiates heat. So basically you just choose this depending on your environment. So we're leaving it on recommended. We can choose to save our location as well. Help section right there, how to use, depending on your make and model. So we have a couple different things we can look at right there for us. FAQ, you can ask a question. Additional info here about FLIR and thermal in general. Very helpful stuff right at your fingertips. Then we have this apps section as well. So a couple additional apps if you want to investigate that you can. And some additional FLIR apps down at the bottom if you want the thermal studio for advanced post-processing or FLIR tools to create simple reports and make image adjustments. You have that all right here within the mobile app. So it's very simple. You can see your temperature at the center. You can take photos, take videos, charge it up and use it with its battery, or you can run it with direct power to it, maybe from like an external um, power bank, things like that. You could do that as well.